All right, this is NFL 2023 draft prediction, mock draft, whatever the hell. All right. So Carolina being the dumb organization they are with nothing but failure, they're either going to take Bryce Young, who I don't care how talented the guy is. He's 5'10 barely. He's like 5'10 and 1 16th inches tall. And it's that's fine when you're in college, but you're going to be playing with 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six offensive linemen, and you're 6 inches short of them, 7 inches short of them, actually. And he's also tiny. He's like 160 pounds. The first time Bryce Young gets sacked, he's going to be broke, breaking his back or break a leg or something and be out for a year and a half. And I know, I understand he's a good quarterback, but it's hard enough going from college to the NFL and even harder when you're that size and that everything. He's He's... Kyler Murray, and that's not a good thing because Kyler sucks ass. I've never been a fan of him. Okay, Houston's also being a bum organization. They'll pick C.J. Stroud, who scored worse on his maturity test than Aaron Hernandez. I don't understand why either of those two are so highly touted. If you slide Will Levis into Ohio State, he throws 50 touchdowns and, like, nothing. Will Levis is the only invitee from Kentucky in the entire draft. Let that sink in for a second. There's got to be at least two dozen people from Ohio State or a dozen people from Ohio State or something. Ohio State, Bama, and Georgia don't really count when it comes to stats and everything in in college because all the quarterbacks who have quote-unquote good stats in college at Ohio State, Georgia, or whatever are always terrible in the NFL and it's all these dudes from no-name colleges like Wyoming, Josh Allen. Certain exceptions apply, obviously. Joe Burrow being one. LSU is not, you know, even in Clemson's level. It's not even in, it's not in Bama, not in Georgia, not in any level LSU is. So whatever. Uh, so I say Texans will pick CJ Stroud. Uh, I could see that being reversed too. Panthers pick Stroud and I don't care. It really. Uh, Cardinals are going to trade with the Titans. Which, the Cardinals are either going to trade with the Titans or the Colts. And the Colts are getting Will Levis and Will Anderson Jr. out of that. They're going to trade both picks. Uh, or the Titans. If Titans pick, they'll probably take Will Levis just because he fits back into their scheme better. I really don't want Will Levis to go to the Titans. I want him to go to the Colts. And he'll be the guy. In, in, he fits in the Colts system. I'm sure he'll get along great with Jim Irsay, seeing as how he's kind of, you know, a tall white dude with tattoos. It seems like his kind of person. Uh, he's weird. He's one of the quarterbacks that's weird. He eats the mayo of the coffee and the rotten bananas. That kind of shit is what Brady and Rodgers do, right? That being a weird person makes you a good quarterback. So don't be surprised when, I mean, Levis has to go to the Colts is the thing. I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, but whatever. He will only succeed in Indianapolis because of the system they have, the players they have, the coaching they have, whatever. He has the best shot of being elite going to Indianapolis, and he'll be the guy in Indy. So, that's not even... If the Titans or whoever... Arizona's pick is the pick I'm picking now. If Arizona keeps the pick, they're obviously going to pick Will Anderson Jr., although I will say they could do something screwy because Cardinals aren't very good at drafting. Josh Rosen and Kyler Murray... But whatever. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not afraid. Of, I'm not putting it past the Cardinals at all to do something screwy in the, uh, you know, with their pick. But I do think it's going to get traded, and I do think they're going to take uh, CJ uh, Will Levis at number three or four. Uh, Colts number pick. If, if Levis isn't there, they're definitely taking Levis. Not doubt in my mind. If Levis is already taken, they'll take whatever quarterback is left, probably probably Anthony Richardson, which I don't really think he's going to – I mean, he, he'll be fun to play. He'll be probably better than Lamar Jackson if he doesn't get hurt like Lamar does every year. That's probably the only much you can compare him to. Uh, I hope to God he has number 15, so people can call him AR-15. But I wouldn't mind – if Levis is already taken, there's nothing you can do about that. I wouldn't mind if Colts get Anthony Richardson just because I think he'd be a fun player to play. He had the best – you know, ever at the Combine, which that doesn't really mean anything. I mean, Kurt Warner had a shitty Combine, and so did Tom Brady, and look how that turned out. Uh, I mean, Brock Purdy's taking the... None of this shit might matter. The thing is, people are talking like all five of these quarterbacks are going to be elite people. No. 
Only one of them is going to be elite. I think Will Levis is the best chance. I don't even think he's going to be like 40 touchdowns a season elite. He'll just be like 25, 30 touchdowns a season. Two of them are going to be busts. In my, It'll be Bryce Young will be riddled with injuries his entire career and be terrible, not live up to the hype. C.J. Stroud is going to be Justin Fields, only with an attitude and a gangster, you know, thug mindset. He's just not into film material. God, he really does have Justin Fields written all over him. They're both from the Ohio State and they're both mid. Uh, who's the other guy? Anthony Richardson might actually last in the league just because of his outstanding athleticism. I mean, he's tall, fast, all that shit. He's just a better Cam Newton, is the thing. And Cam Newton sucks ass, and he's a braggadocious idiot. That's why he's not in the league. He's got a terrible attitude for being someone who never won shit and held the team back on pretty much every occasion. But uh, Anthony Richardson over Cam Newton any day. Uh, he's taller, stronger, faster. Uh, I think you can coach the... Uh, actually, well, I guess you couldn't coach the accuracy out of Cam Newton, but maybe Richardson will have better luck with that. So I think Richardson will be spot starter. You know, he might start... I mean, I'd, I'd like to see him succeed. He looks like a fun person to watch. Uh, you know, he might be, you know, good. But, yes, Will Levis and then Anthony Richardson are my two ones I think will be the best. Will Levis by far. I'm telling you. If Will Levis went to Alabama or somewhere that was highly touted, he'd be a first overall pick, no-brainer. And he's already being speculated as a first overall pick with all this negative, you know, people saying shit about him. And that's, you know, something. Which I guess doesn't mean anything. I guess I'm being a hypocrite because Josh Rosen and Sam Darnold were both, like, number two and three. And Zach Wilson. Idiot Zach Wilson. Jets would have made the playoffs last year if Zach Wilson wasn't a thing. But, Whatever. Uh, who picks after the Colts, number five? Is it Oakland or Las Vegas, I guess? Uh, I think it might be. Fuck, I don't know. I mean, Raiders, there might not even be a quarterback left for the Raiders to take. Uh, Jake Carhill or whatever his name is, Clayton Toon. I was really high on Carson Strong. A few years ago. I don't even know if he's in the NFL now. I think he is. It's like a third string. But uh, that didn't work out. So don't take all this shit seriously. Because I'm not an expert on this shit. Obviously. Or else I'd be employed by the fucking people. Uh, what was I saying? Who goes after Colts? Who's the number five? I should have looked this shit up before I started making this video. Uh, Vegas needs a quarterback. Not really... I think Jimmy Garoppolo will probably play there for two, three years because I don't think he's going to be a one and done. Uh, they might pick, I guess, Hendon Hooker. He'd be the only quarterback left. And also the sixth quarterback. That's, I don't know, Hendon Hooker is kind of, I don't know. Uh, I can see Anthony Richardson going to the Raiders if he's not taken. I just don't really think he fits that system. I don't know. I don't really know. Uh... Fuck, eight minutes. Okay, that's it, I guess. I'm not going to bother with this anymore. I should have pulled up. I would have done the entire first round, but I'm not. Um, I'm too fucking tired to pull it up. So that's it for that. Farewell. Draft is tonight.